Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you. Today we will continue our lesson by discussing subtopic 5.2, three states of matter in chapter 5, that is matter. So in this subtopic, we will learn about matter that consists of particles, kinetic theory, in terms of the arrangement and movement of particles, rate of diffusion, change in state of matter based on kinetic theory, and also temperature and mass remain constant during melting and freezing and also boiling point. So this is the learning objective that you that you should know, that you should understand about this subtopic. So we proceed with the matter. As we know that we have learned before, the definition of matter is any substance that have mass and occupied space. Now we will look into more detail that matter itself is made up of what we call as a particles. That is a discrete particles. So, these particles is very tiny, small, and cannot be seen by our own naked eyes or by using light microscope. Because the tiny of this particle that made up matter, so it can only be seen using electron microscope. So, every matter must made up or must consist these particles and every matter because we can see matter by our own eyes so it's exactly made up by lots of particles so this particle we can represent one particle using this diagram so you can see this diagram like one ball so we represent one particle as one ball as one particle so you can see this is one particle so means that if matter that is big that we can see means that that matter consists billion trillion of particles itself and that particle for every matter mostly have the same type of particle. So means that this type of particle, one particle, so we have lots, trillion, billion, trillion particles same like this that consists in every matter. So that is the, uh, what is inside the matter. So what you have to know from this introduction is matter is made up of district particles. So this particle is very important substance that you must know and understand. Okay. So next, this is example yeah, in which different type of matter will have what we call, as we learned just now, as a particle. So every type of matter have this what we call as a particle so every single circle here is will represent particle so we can see in this box consists of more than one particle same with this so every single circle here represent one particle so every matter have their own size and type of particle okay so every matter will have like this so exactly matter itself will made is made up from this what we call as a particle so from that situation we can say that state of matter can be classified into three that is solid liquid and gas yeah. Okay, so solid, liquid, and gas is a 
different state of matter. So why this state of matter can exist like this? Okay, so the differences, differences in state of matter is because of the arrangement and movement of particles that made up the matter. So how can this happen like this? So we can explain using kinetic theory of matter. So what is the kinetic theory of matter? So kinetic theory of matter explain that matter is made up of constantly moving small and discrete particles. These particles always move and collide to each other. So and this movement of particle, particle that move exactly influenced by kinetic energy owned by that particle itself. The higher the kinetic energy, so the faster its movement. And this kinetic energy will depend on the heat energy supply and also the environment temperature. Okay, so this is the diagram about kinetic theory of matter that explain about matter is made up of constantly moving small and discrete particles. So this circle represent one particle. So in gas, this is example of gas in which in which every gas will conceive will consist of particles that move freely and randomly and collide to each other like this. So exactly, even though we cannot see what is the inside of the gas and exactly what is inside gas is like this as shown by this diagram. Consists of particles that move around randomly and freely and they will collide to each other. Okay, next, so now we will explain about the characteristic of three state of matter. So as you know, three state of matter divided into gas, liquid and solid. So every state of matter have their own characteristic. Okay, we will discuss about space between particles, particles arrangement and particle movement. In gas, space between particles is large. Particles arrangement very loose. Particle movement move randomly and collide with one another. Okay, for liquid, space between particles. So this is the diagram to show space between particles and the arrangement of the particles and the movement of particles. So the gas, particle of gas will, live, will look like this. Particle of liquid will look like this, so the space is moderate. The arrangement is close compared to the particle, gas particle, and the movement move freely and collide with one another. Okay, so now we look into solid space. Okay, the arrangement of particle elastic is like this, so we can see that every particle is arranged closely each other and this will make the space between particles is small and the movement can only by vibrate and rotate only so this is how gas liquid and solid is formed that based on the arrangement of particle itself so if the arrangement is like this so it will become gas if the arrangement is moderate the particle is arranged closely like this so it will become liquid and if the particle is arranged very close to each other so it will become solid so every matter around us exactly exists in this three type state of matter so this is the comparison of characteristic of three state of matter so we can read from here the different of state of matter for solid liquid and gas. The characteristic given here based on shape, mass, volume, compressibility. So for example, we take liquid. The shape is takes the shape of the container, one solid, fixed shape, and the gas 
takes the shape of the container. Mass, fixed mass, fixed mass, yes, no fixed mass. So different state of matter will have different characteristic based on this factor. Okay. So now we go into the what we call as a diffusion rate. Okay, what is the meaning of diffusion rate? So, this diffusion rate is based on the movement of particles. Yeah? So, the meaning is diff... Okay, sorry. Diffusion is the process in which the particles or substances move from a high concentration area to a low concentration area. So, this diffusion is based on the movement of particles okay this one eh? the movement of particles will diff will determine the diffusion rate so if the particle can move faster so we can say that in a shorter time so we can say that the rate of diffusion for that matter is higher eh? if the particle move very slow so the diffusion rate is low so, in solid, the diffusion rate is low, while in liquid, higher than solid, and in gas, the diffusion rate is the highest. Okay, this is the activity given in the textbook, in which trying to explain about the rate of diffusion of particles in a solid, liquid, and a gas. So, the conclusion from these activities is, the rate of diffusion of particles in a solid is low. So this activity, we put one drop of copper to sulfate crystal, blue color, in a gel that is colorless. So gel is a solid. What will happen? So after, so we will take time for every uh, diffusion rate in for every state of matter so in liquid we put in water and in gas we put in into the the air eh? so what will happen is the rate of diffusion of particle in liquid is higher than in solid while the rate in, of diffusion of particles in a gas is the highest okay so now we will look into what is the explanation about the changes in state of matter that is caused by the absorption and release of heat based on kinetic theory of matter. So what you must know is matter, so please look into this yellow, yellow box here. Okay, this is important concept that you must know. Matter can change from one state to another state when heat is absorbed or released. So when we supply heat, when we apply heat to any any matter, so that matter can absorb or can release heat and it will change state of matter. So that is the conclusion or that is the main concept that you should know about the changes that happen to the state of matter based on the Absorption and release of of heat. Okay, so when we apply heat, particles will absorb heat, and what will happen is this particle will have higher kinetic energy, and it will move faster. When it move faster, so the arrangement will further apart from each other, so it will change from solid to liquid and then when further apart from each other so it will become gas so you must know that gas liquid and solid exactly become like that because of the arrangement of particle if the arrangement of particle is closely to each other close to each other so it will become solid if the particle is like this close together not same like the solid, so it will become liquid. But if the particle is further apart like this, so it will become gas. So all this arrangement is exactly depend on the 
arrangement of particle and this arrangement of particle is depend on the movement of particle and the movement of particle exactly depend on the kinetic energy the kinetic energy will influence by the heat energy supply whether it absorb if the particle absorb heat energy energy so the kinetic energy will increase if the particle release energy so the kinetic energy will decrease so what is the effect of heat to matter so the process when heat is applied to matter will have we will have we will discover this type of process the first one melting boiling freezing sublimation condensation and evaporation so we will look into detail for every process of the effect of heat into the matter so the first one melting what exactly happened during melting okay melting what is a melting process melting is a when solid change into liquid melting is a process in which solid turns into liquid so what happened during melting process solid will absorb heat when heated so particles will obtain energy and vibrate faster heat is used to overcome the force of attraction between the particles particle move freely when the temperature reaches melting point so solid will change into liquid so at that point in which solid change to liquid we call it that as a melting process what is a boiling process Pro boiling process is a process in which liquid turn into gas so how liquid can turn into gas during the boiling process so same explanation liquid will absorb heat particle obtain more energy kinetic energy and move faster and then heat is used to break the bond between the liquid particles when the temperature temperature reaches the boiling point the particles move freely and randomly liquids turns into into gas okay what about evaporation okay evaporation occurs at any temperature okay evaporation is a process in which liquid turn into gas and the particle that involved is at the surface only it will not involve the overall overall particle in the in the liquid so evaporation occur at any temperature compared to the boiling boiling occur at the boiling point only okay condensation what is a condensation condensation is a gas process of gas gas turn into liquid so what exactly happen heat is released when gas is cool so when heat is released particles will lose kinetic energy and move slower and become closer to each other when the temperature is equal to or below the boiling point so gas will turn into liquid freezing is a process in which liquid turns into solid so what will happen during freezing heat will be released sublimation is process in which solid directly turns into gas or gas directly turn into solid means that sublimation no solid to liquid liquid to gas but is directly solid turn into gas or gas directly turn into solid so this process of changes of state of matter is called sublimation okay so several changes uh, characteristic temperature do not changes during change of state of matter mass of matter do not change before and after change of matter temperature increase when heated temperature decrease when cool kinetic energy of particle increase when heated kinetic energy of particles decrease when cool okay this is one of the activity to show that when we heat 
liquid, for example, water. So at the at the situation in which the changes happen from liquid to gas, at that temperature, temperature remains constant. Yeah. So this is the activity to show that temperature remains constant during boiling of water. So for example, water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. So at this point, at this temperature, the during boiling point, so this temperature will not increase, will not change eh, compared to before when we heat water from 27 or 25 degrees Celsius, the temperature will increase. And after reach the boiling point, 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature remain constant until all the water change to the gas. Okay, same thing, activity for mass remains unchanged during physical change. So the conclusion for these changes of matter, the process, this process will heat, will absorb heat. Melting process, boiling, evaporation, solid sublimation. While during freezing, condensation and gas sublimation, heat will be released. So you must understand these two concepts. Uh, what happened, what process that absorb heat and what process that will release heat. Yeah. Okay, so that is for the explanation about subtopic 5 form 2 as usual you have to do this homework formative practice 5.2 do all the question and please send me your answer to my personal whatsapp to uh, for me to check your homework okay so that's all for today i hope that you can Try to understand about this subtopic and I hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you very much.